Jean-Baptiste Santerre, a French painter and draftsman, was born in 1678 in magnayen vexin near Pontoise, France. He was known for his history paintings, portraits, and portrait-like genre subjects. Influenced by Italian masters and his French contemporaries, Santerre made a unique contribution to his art by incorporating Netherlandish influences. Santerre received his training under the renowned history painter Bon Boulogne and studied the works of old masters. In the late 1690s, he achieved success as a portrait painter and later expanded his skills to include genre painting. His works combined the fantasy portrait style of northern tradition with the fashionable allegorical portrait seen in France. Santerre also painted history paintings and religious subjects, often infused with an erotic character. Notably, his painting, Susanna at the Bath, from 1704 is considered one of his most famous works. His talent gained recognition from French royalty, including King Louis XIV and Philippe II, Duke of Orleans. From 1715 until his death, Santerre served as a court painter for the Duke of Orleans. Although Santerre's work initially sparked controversy during the French Regency era, it gained broader appreciation in the 19th and 20th centuries. He is regarded as a precursor to the Rococo era painting and has influenced subsequent generations of artists in the neoclassical and romantic periods. Jean-Baptiste Santerre, born in Magny-en-Vex and near Pontoise on March 23, 1651, was a renowned French portrait painter. He began his career specializing in portraits, influenced by his French contemporaries Rigaud and Detroit, as well as Dutch and Flemish artists like Rembrandt and Van Dyck. Santerre's unique style combined the fantasy portrait of the northern tradition with the fashionable allegorical portrait in French painting. Santerre gained recognition in the art world and was accepted into the Academy of Painting and Sculpture in 1698. He became a full member in 1704 and exhibited his works at the Salon. His success at the Academy led to official commissions for conventional portraits, including one of Marie Adelaide of Savoy, the mother of King Louis XV. Santerre also created religious paintings, such as the scandalous Ecstasy of Saint Teresa, commissioned by King Louis XIV for the Chapel of Versailles. In 1712, Santerre received a pension from the king and was granted a studio and lodging in the Louvre. He became an ordinary painter at the court of the Duke of Orleans after the death of Louis XIV in 1715. Some of his later works include a portrait of the regent and a double portrait of the regent and his mistress, Madame de Parabir, in the Palace of Versailles. Santerre's last known work was, Adam and Eve, believed to be a double portrait of the regent and Madame de Parabir. In conclusion, Jean-Baptiste Santerre, a French painter and draftsman, made a significant impact on the art world. His unique style, influenced by Italian masters and French contemporaries, incorporated Netherlandish influences, setting him apart from his peers. Santerre's versatility is evident in his history paintings, portraits, and genre subjects, where he skillfully combined the fantasy portrait style of the northern tradition with the fashionable allegorical portrait seen in France. His talent gained recognition from French royalty, and he served as a court painter for the Duke of Orleans. Despite initial controversy, Santerre's work gained broader appreciation in later centuries and influenced subsequent generations of artists in the neoclassical and romantic periods.